if you're in the market for a versatile crossover, the 2025 Honda HRV, this guy, and the 2025 Honda CRV, this guy, they make strong cases as possible options in this case, okay? So both models have their own distinct advantages from the HRV's compactness in design to the CRV's spacious, roomy, roominess interior, guys. Now, in this episode, we will put the HRV by the CRV assess their design, interior features, performance, and overall value to you so that you can determine which one will be a best fit for your lifestyle and your needs. So if that is a reason why you are here, you are torn between which direction to go, you are covered. Welcome to AutoStop and let's dive into the business of being here. Now, I would like to begin with the price and since it's a primary consideration when it comes to acquisition of these vehicles. So let's look at value and pricing. And with these two cars, you get what you pay for. What I mean is that when it comes to the pricing of the HRV, this beautiful, cute little SUV here, it is the more affordable option of the two. With a lower starting price, that makes it more accessible to a broader range of buyers. It is actually an excellent choice for those who are looking to purchase a practical, stylish crossover without breaking the bank at all. The HRV has a estated stance as one of Honda's best value for money and offers a good mix of standard features and Honda's undeniable reputation for reliability and longevity, guys. Now, let me then move on and contrast what I have already said about the HRV with the CRV. The CRV here, guys, this one is more expensive, provides better value in terms of space, performance, and features especially when you consider the availability of the hybrid, hybrid models that are added onto this. Now, you might know a little bit about the CRV. It's actually higher in price, and the higher in price is justified by the larger size, more powerful engine options, and the more premium feel if you go through to test drive one. The sweet thing about this is that we've got the hybrid variant, and the hybrid variant in particular provides an excellent fuel savings that could offset its initial cost over time, making the CRV an attractive option for you eco-conscious buyers, guys. Now, sincerely speaking, families or buyers who want reliable crossover that can do it all should seriously, seriously consider the CRV, given the bang for the buck. And that is just the initial foundation to having an informed decision to make. To make this whole thing easier for you, let me launch the pricing table here. Yes, you can see it here. And I think if you take a good, a quick glance, you see the starting price for the HRV is at $25,100 as at 9th of September, 2024. Now take note of that because pricing is subject to time. The 2025 CRV on the other hand has a cars model and the hybrid model, and they kick off at about 5,000 plus more over the HRV, which is at $30,100 and goes all the way to $34,350 for the hybrid models guys. Now, the trick here is that the CRV, the smaller one, offers you three different trims from the LX to the EXL. And then the CRV offers you six different trims. That's a double of what the HRV offers you. So you've got a whole lot to sift through and pick what suits you. But then the only area where the JDM power quality and reliability rated. Um, comes in is where the HRV actually kicks over the CRV, sitting at 82% over 80% for the CRV. But the 82% for this, the HRV is actually a 2024 model certified rating and not a 2025. I believe this makes it clear in terms of pricing and value. At this point, let me go tackle the design. I think I should leave most of that to your own aesthetic approach to what is nice and what is not but these vehicles look different and they look great in their own respective um, approaches now to tackle that a little bit the honda hrv and the crv are both stalwarts in the japanese automaker's current lineup both design sports honda's new sleek design principles guys so you can tell that they are differently designed but each of them has a different approach that makes it look aesthetically updated both models sport Honda's new sleek design principles, but they cater to different aesthetic preferences as earlier stated. The HRV in this case is Honda's smallest crossover in the United States and a few other markets, and they offer a sleek and sporty design with slow front grille, 
slim headlights, you see that, and a coupe-like roof line. It's a design that clearly targets urban drivers, city drivers who value more youthful style. And then to the contrary, the CRV takes a more matured approach. So you can tell from here, it features a broader stance, more pronounced lines, and a bold yet sophisticated front end, very edgy as well. The CRV's larger size results in more commanding road presence over the HRV, with the design language geared more toward practicality and refinement when compared to the HRV Sporty Flare, guys. I think you do agree. If you don't, would like to hear your comments in the comment section now. The CRV design actually reflects its role as a versatile and approachable family vehicle that doesn't compromise on style. But further, to make this easier, let's look at the signs, the dimensions behind what we are looking at right now. So I'll launch this table. Yes, you see that. I think you can take a quick glance. They are different in terms of size, but not significantly that much. In terms of length, it's about four inches different from the CRV is 179.8 inches, and that is about four inches smaller than the CRV. When we come to the width, the width is also 72.4 inches here. That's about one inch smaller in terms of width. In terms of height, it's about two on the front wheel drive CRV and then about three to four inches on the all wheel drive due to the trans case that sits in there. Now, the wheelbase is also similar. We're looking at around 4.5 and then around 6.3 inches. Ground clearance, where it matters to me most where I come from, I need that ground clearance. So you're looking at 7.0 to 7.3 inches, depending on the trim that you go for. And on the CRV, you get 7.8, that's about 8 inches higher. And 8.2 inches, depending on the trim, that is about 0.11 inches here. So basically, that is what you get on the dimensions. But then, you know, dimensions affects the interior of the vehicle. Let me link that directly to the interior of these two vehicles. Let's take a closer look and realize that, of course, this HRV is small, but it's not doing bad at, about interior at all. Now, the interior space here, the CRV actually takes the lead. I mean, we must be sincere and direct. So, stepping inside, the HRV and the CRV offer two different experiences, guys. The HRV that we are looking at here, take a good look. Despite its compact dimensions, as earlier stated, it's impressively roomy for a subcompact vehicle in that segment. Honda has a clever packaging and that means that you are getting ample headroom and legroom for both front and rear passengers. I would launch the numbers here which will help us understand the clarity of the relationship between the external dimensions and then the interior space that we have seen. The interior is actually designed to maximize space with smart storage solutions and a versatile magic seat that allows a flexible cargo configuration. Although the HRV punches are above its weight when it comes to interior space, the top harness are reserved for the CRV in this regard, people. We have seen a lot. So the CRV here provides significantly more expensive cabin. We take, take a look with ample legroom in both front and rear seats, making it a better choice for families or those who often travel with multiple passengers. Now, additionally, this CRV, guys, boasts a larger cargo area, making it a better choice for those who need to haul more gear. Right. Now, I am not going to touch on the nitty gritties here because you can tell for yourself. I would rather move on and touch on the features that matter, which is volume and space in this vehicle due to the relativity of the external dimensions to the interior dimensions. Passenger volume. Now that I've launched this table, take a look. HRV comes in 97.3 cubic feet as the CRV comes in at 103. 0.5 cubic feet all the way to swap 106 cubic feet and and on the hrv 98.7 cubic feet that is about five cubic feet lesser than the crv and then about six cubic feet also lesser than the other trims of the crv you can you can see for yourself the differences are not so huge the cargo space when all the seats are up you are doing 24.4 cubic feet on the hrv and then on the CRV, you're doing 34.7. That is about 10 cubic feet here, approximately. And then it goes all the way to 39.3 cubic feet on the CRV. That makes it about 15 cubic feet. Now, when you fold all the seats, the cargo space on the CRV 
sits at 76.5 cubic feet. And then the HRV comes in at 51.1 cubic feet. That's also approximately 16 cubic feet difference in terms of cargo speeds when all the seats have, have been put down. And lastly, let me land on the rear leg room, which is 37.7 inches. And this is about four inches smaller than the CRV. Guys, so this is how they sit in terms of the numbers behind the space inside the vehicle and outside the vehicle. But then let me go and wrap this whole thing up with performance and efficiency, which is another salient point when it comes to the acquisition of these beautiful SUVs. And at this point, the HRV and the CRV each offer a distinct driving experience and tailored to their respective markets, guys. The HRV is actually powered by a 2.0 liter inline four engine that produces a 158 horsepower, this engine, and you've got a 138 pound foot of torque. Now, this is also mated to this particular CVT with either front or all wheel drive. And I love the all wheel drive inclusion that prioritizes a smooth drive and a good fuel efficiency in this case. While it is not the most powerful in the class, the HRV has more than enough ground for its intended use in the city cruiser approach. The HRV actually cohesively blends efficiency with comfortable and nippy driving experience, making it an ideal drive for urban environments where parking space is tight. But let me approach this from the CRV perspective. So on the other hand, the CRV is actually offering this 1.5 liter turbocharging line 4 engine that delivers a higher 90 horsepower and higher 79 pound feet of torque, providing a noticeable boost in performance over the HRV guys. In terms of performance, the CRV is there. The CRV's extra grant better suited for long highway drives. Take care if you would be doing that in more demanding conditions. Additionally, this CRV offers a more fuel efficient hybrid option that combines the 2.0 liter engine with two electric motors. I'll launch the table in a jiffy so you can compare yourself. You are getting a 2.0 liter engine with two electric motors delivering a combined 204 horsepower and that's quite an amount of power. The CRV hybrid not only offers better fuel efficiency and performance than the standard model but also provides a more refined driving experience guy. Like its smaller sibling, the CRV also opts for the same CVT transmission with the option of a front and all wheel drive setups, guys. Now, besides the hybrid, the CRV is also available as a plug in hybrid fuel cell vehicle known as the CRV EFC EV. And this gives shoppers yet another powertrain option not available on the smaller HRV, guys. So you've got lots of, lots of goodies here when it comes to uh, the gas powered CRV and then the hybrid powered CRV. Let me bring this table up so we can take a quick glance at all of it. The area that matters to me the most will be the fuel economy area. The power numbers are clear. The CRV sports a 1.5 table inline four engine for the gas powered and you've got the 2.0 liter as we've already, already stated in like four hybrid engine here as against the HRV that has just the 2.0 liter inline four engine. The CRV produces 190 horsepower and 204 horsepower on the hybrid, while the CRV is doing 158 horsepower. The difference is well over 30 horsepower on the CRV gas powered and almost 40 horsepower more on the CRV hybrid versions over the HRV. I think you can see the numbers for yourself. The torque that this, the HRV is doing is 138 power foot of torque. And compared to the CRV gas powered, it's 179. That is about 30 more pound feet of torque. And then on the gas powered hybrid, you've got a 247 pound feet of torque. That's almost, almost double that of the HRV's torque here. Now, the full economy numbers where I really would like to touch on is the HRV is doing 26 city and 32 miles per gallon in, on the highway for the front wheel drive setup. And then when you come to the all wheel drive setup, the HRV is doing 25 by 30. If you contrast this by the CRV, you realize that the gas powered one is doing 28 and 34 as a 1.5 front wheel drive version. And then you are getting 26 by 31 for the 1.5 liter all wheel drive setup for the gas models. And then when you jump to the hybrid models, you can tell 43 by 36, for the 2.0 liter front wheel drive and 40 by 39 on the 2.0 liter all wheel drive versions. 
all these two vehicles, as earlier stated, are on a CVD transmission. And so basically, this is what you get. This should be able to inform you on which direction to go, if not. But if you are still not clear, let me summarize this whole thing up for you here with this quick one. And it should be able to give you a nudge to which direction to go. Now, these are two great crossovers. But the CRV, if you've got the budget, is the way to go. So in the extremely congested crossover segment, the Honda offers two compelling options here, which is a 2025 HRV and a 2025 CRV. The Honda HRV and the CRV cater to different needs within the crossover segment, guys. And the HRV is the ideal choice for those seeking a stylish, compact, budget friendly SUV that excels in the urban city environment. Looking at it from the CRV perspective, the CRV is a better choice for families or those needing more space, more power, offering a more premium experience with its larger size, more powerful engines, and a super efficient hybrid option. Now, while the HRV shines in its niche, the segment within which it plays, the CRV is the more versatile and feature rich option, justifying its higher price tag with added comfort, performance, and advanced technology. And personally, that would be my go-to if I have the budget. Ultimately, the choice between HRV and a CRV depends on your specific needs as a buyer. If budget and the compact package are your priorities, the HRV is the way to go. However, if you need more room, power advanced features, the CRV is well worth the extra investment, guys. So this is what Autostop got for you. Thank you so much. And if you want to look at the 2022 CRV going up against the 2022 HRV, click on this link. Thank you so much. Have a great day until me same time again. Bye bye.